Welcome back to the Take Action News, everybody. Special hello to everybody in our uh, syndicated stations, including listening to our syndicated station in Chicago, Columbus, and all points around the world, and also everybody on YouTube. This is the segment because of that music. You know it is time for Dr. Alan Rosenblatt, Dr. Deirdre Pohl on Twitter with the latest on social media. Alan, welcome to the program. Alan is dialing in right now. She's, she's Alan's in dialing in. All right. As we as he dials in, folks, and this is I can't wait for this segment. Because you know we talk about the latest trends in social media and what's happening. Well, how many of you out there have heard about Google Glass? Google Glass. You heard about Google Glass? This is this little thing where you attach to your sort of glasses or your eyewear is essentially a Google. I, I don't even quite understand how it works, but basically you can search for things, you can record things now using your eyewear. Um, and this is going to change a lot of our interactions, and in fact, it already has, because last week, somebody recorded a fist fight with their Google Glass. The video, the video led to an arrest, an arrest of somebody involved in a fist fight because the evidence was recorded on Google Glass. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. Um... And so we're going to talk to Alan uh, about that and, and also what else is going on in social media. But, I mean, folks, you think about the way we communicate, the way we give each other information now, whether it's Twitter or Facebook and the way we can share things. And, and now the idea that you, know, you can share information, you can help police, you can record things virtually surreptitiously. I remember a time when, no, you, you couldn't bring you know, cameras or whatnot into concerts or recording devices. And now there's, there's, sometimes there's no way to stop it. Um, it's just it's just amazing. Alan Rosenblatt, are you there with us here on Tax Take Action News? I am, David. How are you? Oh, good to have you on board. So, Alan, tell us a little bit about Google Glass. For those people who don't understand what it is, describe it and tell us about this uh, this fist fight that uh, led to an arrest because somebody recorded it on Google Glass. So, Google Glass is basically um, a, a piece of eyewear that looks like a pair of glasses, although there are no lenses in it, uh, that have uh, basically the ability to connect to the Internet live, be able to see a monitor in a little screen that, because it's so close to the eye, looks like a full-size monitor, uh, and be able to interact with the web any way you want. It has full functionality like the ability to videotape something and record it or even videotape and live stream it. Uh, so that creates a whole new set of interesting opportunities. This particular example that you've been talking about with regard to uh, the videotape of a fight and an arrest happened in Wildwood, New Jersey on the boardwalk. Uh, a fight broke out and a crowd uh, gathered around it and was chanting and all this kind of stuff. And one of the guys in the crowd was experimenting with his Google Glass and was able to record the entire event and post the video. And uh, as a result, an arrest was made. Now, if you think about it, if you're there holding a camera or a phone taking that picture, taking that video in the middle of a fight where there are, uh, you know, friends of the people who are fighting standing around watching it, uh, you're likely to get beat up too. But because he was wearing the Google Glass, uh, as he claims in his, one of the articles that I read, 99% um, of the people around him had no idea that he was wearing it, what they were, what they could do. Uh, and it just created... Uh, the classic example of an unobtrusive videotaping of an event that turns into news and an arrest. That's amazing. It is amazing. And it feels like it's another one of these devices that literally will, I mean, could transform our society both for the better and for worse because you got to believe, well, if somebody can now surreptitiously record something that they're not supposed to, uh, there's all sorts of issues with sort of uh, licensing and property rights for concerts and whatnot. But on the other hand, it's also a way to make sure that anything that happens, it may be illegal. If somebody's got a Google, you know, if they're wearing the Google glasses, it makes it easier to find out, you know, easier to prove a case against them. Absolutely. And I think it's only a matter of time before uh, Google uh, or uh, either some third party creates an overlay for the glasses or Google itself comes out with uh, a variety of frames that allow you to create, uh, say, a Google Glass that looks like Ray-Bans or Google Glass that looks like... Uh, any other kind of uh, popular glasses that are out there uh, so that it would become harder and harder and harder to identify somebody who's wearing Google Glass in the audience. Now, think of the political implications of this. Uh, we had some guy with a phone or a video camera surreptitiously recording Mitt Romney at his 47% meeting with donors in the 2012 election. 
Uh, and now all of a sudden, you know, these fundraising events are on the lookout for people with phones or video cameras monitoring what's going on. But if the glasses are so innocuous and so unobtrusive that you can't tell who's wearing them or who's not, or it's in their pocket and they put it on, uh, you know, when, when the event starts, they start videotaping, how are they going to know? Uh, we know that um, somebody snuck a video camera into Saddam Hussein's execution, and that video got out. How much easier would it have been if it was just built into their glasses? Uh, and uh, so there's, there's all of those elements in terms of citizen journalism, citizen uh, policing, vigilantism. Imagine if people like George Zimmerman was out there, uh, you know, with Google Glasses recording all these events, uh, and, you know, or somebody else was out there with glasses and recorded the event. That, uh, uh, of the fight between Trayvon and, uh, and George Zimmerman. It really would bust open the entire um, notion of, of citizen journalism, of policing, of privacy questions, of surveillance. Uh, uh, Little Brother would be uh, on the rise everywhere.